what is there about his word? For with authority and power, this man commands the unclean spirits, and the unclean spirits come out. Jesus taught them with authority on the Sabbath. They were astonished at his teaching because every time he spoke, he spoke with authority. Some people are scared of the word authority. Some people equate the word authority to an authority figure. This is what we call authority anxiety, which is also known as authority fear or fear of authority. The term is self-explanatory and it is loosely defined as fear of authority figures. Is this you? Are you behaving completely differently when talking to people in authority? Do you tremble in the presence of an authority figure? When our Lord taught, He spoke with authority. He spoke the Word of God as no one had spoken it before. When the rabbis taught, the rabbis supported their statements with different quotes from other authorities. The prophets also spoke with delegated authority. That is why every time a prophet says, every time a prophet prophesies, the prophet will say, thus says the Lord. But when our Lord spoke, he needed no authorities to back up his statements because Jesus is authority incarnate. Jesus is the Word of God made flesh. When Jesus spoke, it is God who spoke. When he commanded even the devils and the demons, all of them obeyed because the authority of Jesus is from God. Jesus ordered the evil spirits to leave the man who was thrown to the ground but was not hurt. And the people are amazed because exorcism was not new to them but they had never seen it before done with such speed and effectiveness. They are astounded again at the power and the authority of Jesus. They realize that they are in the presence of someone very special. In fact, this Jesus is the Holy One of God. This is the same Jesus who said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. My dear brothers and sisters, each one of us is given authority of some kind. The parents are authority figures. The teacher is also authority. In the seminary, the rector is an authority figure, as well as the prefect, the general senior, the dining room senior, the class senior. They are all authority figures. The rector, the policeman, the doctor, our job responsibility. But how do you use your authority? I remember a certain author who said, you can delegate authority, but you cannot delegate responsibility. So let us make sure that we use authority in such a way as to enhance the abilities of other people rather than diminish them. Amen.